Your Excellency, my dear brother and friend, President Felix Chisekedi, President of the Democratic Republic of Congo. Excellences, ladies and gentlemen, I wish to thank President Chisekedi for this unique opportunity to address you at the start of the DRC Africa Business Forum. Now, it hasn't even been two weeks since we were in COP26 in Glasgow. Of course, we are all working so hard to ensure a low carbon world. Now, every single day, we all drive cars using diesel and petrol. We've been so used to them forever that we cannot even imagine a world without them. That was exactly how it was, you remember, for cameras. Who ever thought we will live in a world where the camera film will be obsolete? Welcome to the world of innovation at the speed of light. Your next car, sometime soon, will not be running on diesel or petrol. It will be running on electricity, powered by batteries. Very soon, and perhaps sooner than anyone expected, the only place where you will probably see petrol and diesel cars will be in the Museum of Transport. The drive to reach net zero emissions presents an enormous opportunity for Africa to foster the development of a battery, electric vehicle, and renewable energy value chain and market. Several countries have announced a ban on the sale of new petrol and diesel cars. Indeed, some trend watchers think that by 2030, electric vehicles will make up nearly half of all new car sales globally. The value of the global market for batteries and electric vehicles is expected to reach $8.8 .8 trillion within the next four years. Your Excellency, President Chiseke, in DRC, you are at the heart of the battery value chain. Your country stands, therefore, to benefit tremendously. Your country accounts for over 70% of the world's annual cobalt production and over 51% of worldwide reserves. Africa holds significant reserves of other key minerals as well, including lithium, manganese, nickel, graphite, and copper. Now, from these minerals, foreign manufacturing firms produce consumer and industrial goods including electric cars, of course, for sale in global markets at much higher prices than what's paid for the raw materials. That's good for them, but not necessarily good for Africa. Africa is at the bottom of the global battery and electric vehicle industry. Now, we must not simply extract minerals. We must add value to them. A recent study by the African Development Bank Group and its partners confirmed that the Democratic Republic of Congo can leverage its abundant cobalt resources and hydroelectric power to become a low-cost and low-emissions producer of lithium-ion battery cathode precursor materials. But there's a lot of work to be done before we get there. Firstly, we must scale up infrastructure investments and develop the necessary policies and regulatory frameworks to attract and domesticate investments in this emerging industry, as well as upgrade available skills for sustainability. Secondly, we must do everything to ensure the African continental free trade area gets up to speed as soon as possible. Countries should adopt and implement policies that foster services trade and growth by adjusting trade regulations, reducing barriers, and promoting non-discriminatory measures. Thirdly, we must back intra-African investment and provide incentives to encourage investment in the battery and electric vehicle value chain in Africa. 
Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I am delighted that the African Development Bank Group's African Natural Resource Center and the African Legal Support Facility have been involved in the organization of the DRC Africa Business Forum. We will remain involved with other partners to support the development of Africa's battery industry, starting right here in the Democratic Republic of Congo. The uptake of electric vehicles is a revolution and a unique chance for Africa to turn its natural wealth into lasting prosperity for all. Now that itself will be a great revolution. So let's press the pedal. Let's accelerate. Let's make it happen. I wish you fruitful deliberations. Thank you very much.